Hi, my name is Maggie Tanton. I go to Port Huron Northern High School, and in this episode, I will be showing you how to wand hair. This is the curling wand I'm gonna be using today. It's a five-in-one kit. You can get any of these kits on Amazon. This comes with an attachable base, and then this will be the wand that I'll be using today. It's a one-inch wand, and it's probably my favorite one to use. This is my favorite because it's the most used. Um, it's pretty much the standard for curling irons. There's also three wands that have a smaller end and then a larger base. What these ones do is so that the curl at like closer to the top of your head is wider and then it gets narrower towards the bottom. And then it also comes with this one, which is pretty much just a narrow one all the way around. The first thing I'm gonna do is spray her hair with this thermal spray. Um, this is heat protectant spray, so it doesn't damage the hair when we use heat. It is very important to use this on every client, every time you do your own hair, just so that your hair stays as healthy as it can. Um, today I'll be using this one inch wand. Then I'm gonna section the bottom half of her hair out. I like to also continue using the thermal spray during each section. Then I'm going to section off about a one inch section, one inch square section, to use the opti like the most thermal we can use. And then you just wrap the hair around the wand and hold it for about 10, 15 seconds, depending on how thick your hair is. And then you let release it. Then I'm gonna be using uh, hairspray to hold the curls. Then I continue to section the next, about an inch wide. Apply more thermal spray. Most hair wands come with a thermal glove, so if you're scared about burning your fingers, you can always put on the glove. For a more bouncier curl, wrap the hair around entirely on the wand, and then hold while it cools, and then this will release and make a more bouncy shape. For what I'm doing is more of a beachy wave. Um, I leave the ends out and just let them drop free which is something that is in right now for hair. For the best looking curls, make sure that you wrap the hair away from the face. I think it's easier to point the barrel downward when you're wrapping the hair. And then once I get to the middle, I switch and go the opposite way so it's going away from her face on the other side.
And then we finish with hairspray. And let the, the curls cool for about a couple minutes. We wait for our curls to cool because of the bonds in the hair. Um, when we curl the hair with the heat, the bonds open. And then after they set, they fully cool and the bonds rebond. Um, when I like to brush out my curls, I like to use a wide tooth comb um, and I start at the ends of the hair. Then I work my way up. And then we add more hairspray just to hold the hair. Um, I like to kind of just bounce the curls as I do this. It separates them a little bit more and adds a little bit more volume. And then I like to finish with a shine mist. This just makes the hair look shinier and prettier. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching this episode on how to wand hair. I will see you next time.